guys, it's your girl Natalie on True Diamond coming at you with Tuesday morning to chat. It's Tuesday morning. Oh God. My contact is aggravating me. I even put a new one in. So it's, it's not the contact this stuff. God. And it's raining today. I don't need my eye messing up. It's not the contact, it's an eyelash or something must be hanging in there. I took the old one out and I put a fresh new one in this morning and I'm getting the same effects as if I had the uh -oh. can't take it I'm getting the same effects as if I had my old one in so it's got to be an eyelash or something and I can't figure out what it is but it's not dropping nuts and it don't need to do that while I'm driving it don't Gosh, I hate it. Okay, so I think I can carry on now. I hope I can. So if I'm blinking, there's nothing wrong with me except for my contacts and aggravating the crap out of me. I'm like, Miss Natalie, was she having a stroke? What was going on with her? What's the is she winking at us? <laughs> Ooh, no, I'm not winking at you, cheering. I am trying my best Ooh, to get this contact in order. Okay, so. I was one, I was like, what was I coming on to y'all? I know what's going on to y'all. Okay, I almost got attacked by the killer frogs, okay? Y'all know I cannot stand those tree frogs. I cannot stand them. I was hoping and praying to God that at the new place, the tree frogs would not be around. And guess what? Tree frogs. But what do you expect when there's trees around you? <laughs> I hate those things. So this morning, be bopping to my car because it's raining. Be bop, be bop, be bop. Open up the door and I hear something say kaplook and I look, ah, the frog jumped in the car. And then it hopped again and I'm like, oh my God, I cannot drive. I'm telling you guys, I had already made up my mind. I was going to shut this door and I was going to get in my other car. And I was not going to drive this car. And I, I, I don't know if I thought the frog was going to die or something. <laughs> Or if I was ever going to get back in this car, I don't know. But I was not going to drive this car. And then something to take some deep breaths. Calm down. Look and see if you see it. So I peeked my head around the corner. And there it was. It was in a little crease in the corner of the door like it was hiding. I'm like, should I go get the rake? No. No. The rake got big holes so to get it past that. You can't do the rake. Do I take my chance, go in the house, get the broom, and it jump further in the car and you don't know where it's at? I didn't know what to do. So, I went running like a little girl in the house to get the broom. Wine in the Derek, and he's like, a frog? You talking about a frog? <laughs> he know I don't like them things. He's like, you talking about a frog? I'm like, yes, a frog is in the car. He won't press, so I said, let me get this broom and try to get this dog on frog. I come back, it's still sitting in the same spot. I guess it thinks it's not. So I take the broom and I swipe at it. It didn't come out. Okay, I got to go a little deeper in that corner. <laughs> oh, God, it was funny. It was funny. Finally, I hit the thing in the right spot, and it jumped out. And, yeah, it jumped out of the corner that it was hiding in, and it jumped under the car. And I'm like, should I kill it? I'm like, no, I can't kill that thing. So I just kind of shoot, you know, move the broom around it, and it hopped further under the car. So yeah, frogs out in the car. Lesson to be learned from this, 
always be aware of your surroundings, okay? Because you just never know when there's going to be a tree frog, one of those doggone green lizards. You just never know. I haven't seen, have I seen a lizard? I seen one lizard. Yes, I did. When first one was going in and doing construction, there was one on the back porch. But, you know, when you live by woods and trees, you can expect anything, just anything. These animals are trying to attack me wherever I am. Y'all remember that little series where animals attack? They're trying to attack me. They know I don't like them. I just, I don't know. Oh, God, I can't stand it. And just think if I was driving and that thing had a hop on me. Y'all don't remember that time when I did that video. I don't think, I, I don't even know if I had begun to do the video. Or if I deleted it because I was acting such a fool. Ooh. But I kept feeling something crawling down my face. And I looked up. <laughs> it was a spider. I was like, ah! God. A spider. So I had a little conniption seizure fit in here. I don't think I ever downloaded that video. This was like years ago when I was living like in Winterville and it, it, it was years ago. So, it's too many videos to go back and see if I even did it to try to link it in. It was embarrassing, I'll put it that way. So, yeah, I know. Big as I am, I shouldn't be afraid of little creepy crawling things. These are things that God made, and I should be glad in it. I'm scared of them. I don't know. I just think it's not that I'm scared of them. I don't want the feel of them. You know, like I don't want them touching me. Like, I'm sure the tree frog feels slimy. I just know it does. I know it does. I just know it does. And that lizard, I bet it feels like little, oh, God, I just can't. I don't want them touching me, okay? I'm just not into reptiles. I, I'm just not. Ooh. Jesus, I can't do it. Anyway, let's get on another subject. They're freaking me out right now. But we're getting the rain. Oh, y'all, wasn't that terrible about the UK and that bombing in that arena and it was filled with most of the kids? That, y'all, this world is just. It is a praying time, is all I'm going to say. It's a praying time. So much is going on in the world today that... My goodness, it is so much going on. And these attacks and things that are going on, it's... Yeah. It's sad, but we pray for um, the families there and that God will give them strength through this difficult time because truly it's a difficult time some of them have lost their babies and I can't say I know what that feels like I know what it feels like to have a child and want to be able to talk to them or call them and you're not able to you have to do it on somebody else's terms I know what that feels like and then me that's kind of like a loss of a child you want to be there, you want to say something to them, you want to touch them, you want to be able to share things with them as they're happening, and you can. So I know what that feels like, but I'm sure never getting to see them, even if it's through a piece of glass, it's got to be horrific, and I cannot even imagine that. So my prayers do go out to those families. As far as <coughs> um, other things going on, I did not go to the house and do any packing yesterday. Me and my mom's gonna go today. This will be a good day to do it because it's raining and your mind won't want you to do anything else. Um, <laughs> it's coffee time. <laughs> It's, um, so we'll go today and we'll knock out 
at least the kitchen and the bathroom using wiping those down. I really, it's raining today, so Derek can't get those guys to go and get those boxes out anyway. I want to have the majority of this stuff done because I want to relax. I'm off Memorial Day, and Derek's cousin is having a cookout she wants us to come to. But basically, we got to get all this stuff out of this house by at least the weekend. It's got to be done so that I can get wiped down, cleaned up. But what I think I'm going to do is um, there's some guys that sometimes come and do like little work for me and Derek. I think once I get everything out of the house and everything that, you know, I'll vacuum and you know, do that and I'll get Derek to get the boys to just go over there, you know, and take some cloths and just wipe those walls and stuff down and, you know, it's just a little, there's not much to really do, it's just getting my stuff out of there so that it can get done, it's all it is. So hopefully the rain will subside at least by the end of the week so that I can get some stuff closed. Because we've been moving my stuff on, there has this trailer that for work, and it's a nice size trailer, and we've been moving our stuff on that. No moving companies or um, <laughs> U-Hauls or anything like that. We have moved all our stuff on this trailer. It's been a blessing to have it. I remember when he said, let's get this, it'll come in handy when we got to do something, or if we want to go pick up something, we'll have something moved, you know. It just, it came in handy, so it was a good investment. Yeah. So anyway, I don't think I'm not going to be up here long, because I've talked long enough. Um, I try not to make my videos too long, because I'm not really doing anything really right now. I am having some dilemmas with the cabinets that are in um, my laundry room. These cabinets were not functional and I don't know what the purpose of these cabinets were. What were people thinking when they made these cabinets? And I know you could do the shelving different but maybe they wanted more shelving space. But there's nowhere to um, store your laundry detergent because the shelves sit they're too they're not high enough. They made like three shelves in a little small space. It should have been like a two shelf cabinet is what it is for me. So that's what I did. I made it out of two shelves so that I could um, I took the third shelf down. Made it out of two shelves so that I could get some laundry detergent oh, in the house. I don't know if I'm going to do a, a rack there. I don't think so. I think I'm just going to keep, oh God, my eye, it's starting up again. I think I'm just going to keep, you know, what I can keep in the cabinet as my stockpile for myself, and then I'll just go back and forth from our um, shed to pull what I need from there, because I don't want to junk my house back up with stockpile stuff in every single doggone corner you can imagine, or every crevice, every hole that you can imagine. I'm going to go up here for now, you guys, because it's raining kind of hard, and I want to be able to concentrate fully on the road, so I'm going to get off here for now, but I will definitely be talking with you guys at a later date and time. As always, remember to do what? Give God some praise, give some thanks for waking up this morning, starting on your way, giving you another chance to get it right. It's always a blessing to get it right. I'll see you in my next video.